What's going on everybody? This is your favorite YouTuber here, Policies. Yesterday was an interesting day in Donald Trump's campaign as he tries to rebuild his brand and move away from being a radical to a more moderate candidate. He flew to Mexico, a country he has bashed a lot during his campaign, to meet with the Mexican president. During the meeting, they talk about some very touchy subjects, especially about building Trump's famous wall along the U.S. southern border. After the meeting, when both Trump and the Mexican president went public, Trump said they didn't discuss who was going to pay for the wall, and the Mexican president made it clear afterwards that Mexico was not going to pay for the wall. Now this trip appeared to help Trump show off his credentials as being a world leader, as he hasn't really met many. But the fact that Trump didn't even raise the point on who's going to pay for the wall kind of undermines his so-called amazing deal-making skills. The thing that bothers me is that Trump said during a press conference that they didn't talk about who's going to build for the wall. But afterwards, the president of Mexico tweeted that they did talk about it, and he straight up told Trump, we're not paying for the wall. To me, it just seems like Trump was being a little deceitful, or he just straight up lied. For almost a year, Trump has said that Obama is way too weak on illegal immigration, but Trump, who has said that he's going to kick out every single illegal immigrant, has been shifting his position to only get rid of illegal criminals, which is virtually the same as Obama's. In fact, Obama has expelled around 2.7 million illegal immigrants, being called the deporter-in-chief by some Mexican officials. The problem with this is that if Trump shifts way too much to the middle of, the, of his campaign and towards, uh, pretty much towards Democrats, he could fall further behind Clinton, as she could just say, you're trying to be like me now, Trump. Trump's powerful rhetoric that he's going to build a wall and make Mexico pay for it really just seems like it's not going to happen now. He had the perfect opportunity to say it in Mexico when, when, when he was with the president, and he had the opportunity to say it again in Arizona right afterwards where he held a rally, but he didn't bring that up either. Trump is clearly starting to realize that he will have to backtrack on many radical policies as reality is beginning to hit him in the face, especially after the dozens of times Trump has insulted the Mexican people. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. We have a tremendous danger on the border. I'm going to get the bad ones out. The, the hard-working, peaceful, yeah. undocumented here. Illegal. Illegal. Are we talking about the illegal? The heroin problem comes right over the southern border. Not going to happen anymore. First thing I need is a wall. We're building the wall. Illegal. It's not going to be a wall that they just climb up. We have a nice strong border. We have a nice beautiful wall. Now we're building the wall. And Mexico is going to pay for the wall. How are you going to make them pay for the wall? I will. And the wall just got 10 feet tall. The wall just got 10 feet higher. The wall just got 10 feet higher. <laughs> There is no way that Mexico can pay a war like that. I have a great relationship with Mexico. How can I not love people that give me tens of millions of dollars for apartments? I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know this one's pretty short. Been really busy lately trying to get things done. If you really enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe. I'd really appreciate the hell out of you. Really would. Go ahead and leave a comment below on what you think and how it can improve and what else you guys want to hear. And I hope you all have a safe and wonderful day.